Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Now she's telling Mrs. Sturdivant that the course that she bought in Capital City doesn't fit. And she has to take it back. Jeff, I'm really surprised at you. Oh, Gramps asked me to call Clay about the generator. That's no excuse for listening in on a party line conversation. You know better than that. Everybody else does it. In the first place, everybody else doesn't do it. In the second place, two wrongs don't make a right. Why do we have to have a party line anyway? Couldn't we have dial phones like they got in Capital City and Creston? Well, that's something you'll have to ask the phone company about. Incidentally, aren't you wasting a perfectly good Saturday afternoon? There's nothing better to do. Porky had to go to the dentist. Woody's got a cold. Diane had to visit her aunt and uncle. And I'm mad at Spike. How about some fishing? We haven't had a mess of fish in weeks. Well, Gramps said he'd take me after he got through at the corral gate. <coughs> Ooh. You probably got some leaf mold spray. Is it poison? Yes, but it won't kill you. Wash your mouth out. Is that enough? Well, I should think so. It still tastes bitter. But try a brownie. I understand brownies are a wonderful antidote for leaf mold spray. Well, it's an antidote. Stuff you counteract poison. Well, counteract me. Try a brownie and you'll see. I don't see anything. Does your mouth still taste bitter? Of course not. The brownie's sweet. Well, that's it. The sweet of the brownie counteracts the bitter taste of the spray. Oh. I can't get Clay Horton. What? I said I can't get Clay Horton. The line's been busy all this time. Who's on it? First was Sarah Pritchard and Mrs. Sturdivant. <laughs> well, Gabby Mountain old ladies will hold the line up for days. No, it's Matt Brockway and somebody else. I don't know who. Well, he'd be better off if he'd cultivate his corn instead of yammering on the telephone. What? I said he'd be better off cultivating his corn instead of yammering on the telephone. But don't you tell Porky I said that. Well, I won't. When are we going fishing? Oh, as soon as I get through here. Be about five minutes. Did you dig some worms? Not yet. Well, you better dig a few. Okay. Hello? Oh, yes, Jenny. Yes, yes, dear, just a minute. I'll get him. Dad! You calling me? You want it on the phone? I'll be right with you. I'd better finish digging the worm. Who is it? Jenny. What she want? Oh, I don't know. Maybe she wants to ask you for a date. You're terribly attractive, you know. <laughs> you know something? I got me a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Huh? Well, it's about time. Yeah, say, if you get a chance, uh, call him, will you? Tell him I'll be right down. Yeah, thanks, Jenny. Thanks. clay has got that new generator for the pickup. Oh, good. So I'll have to go into town and have him put it in right away. Oh, I thought you were going to take Jeff fishing. Well, he'd just soon go to town. I'd take the pickup in for you, but I promised Mrs. Markle I'd drive into Capital City with her. We're going to do some shopping for the church bazaar. <laughs> thanks. Don't you bother. I can do it. <laughs> oh, Jeff. Yes, Grace? Yeah, i got to go to town. You want to come along? 
I thought we were going fishing. I got some worms all dug. Well, the fishing can keep. We'd go after supper. How many worms did you dig? About a dozen. Well, that's enough. Okay. Didn't seem to be too happy about it. Well, it can't be helped. I've been waiting on that generator for a week. How long do you think you'll be gone? Oh, a couple hours, more or less, I guess. Oh, now, if for any reason you're going to be delayed, please give Jenny the message so I'll know. Hmm? Okay. Come on, Jeff, if you're coming. Right here, Graham. Fishing's better after sundown anyway, isn't it? Oh, I guess so. Well, I hope we get juice enough to start it. Well, I'll be glad to push. <laughs> I guess we can make it all right. Machine. Well, the motor's all right. Be like new when we get the new generator in. Have a good time. Hi, Mr. Miller. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Hi. Charlie. Something wrong, Mr. Miller? Yeah, forgot to close the gate in the corral. Domino will get loose. Got to call Emma. Hello, Jenny. George Miller. Ring the house, will you? Oh, I'm sorry, George. That line's all tied up. Oh, not Jim Teal this time. It's Laura Sturdivant. She's calling Capital City. Yeah. Yeah, just a minute. All right, go ahead. Tell Ellen to close the gate to the corral. And if Domino's out, tell her to put some oats in his feed bucket, and that'll bring him back. No, Jenny, not goats, oats. All right, George, oats. Yep, I'll tell her as soon as I can find her. What's the matter? Are we going to be long yet, Graham? Yeah, I can't tell, Jeff. Maybe half hour or more. Okay, girl, you can go ahead, but don't go far. You know I needed company today. Now you come with me to the kitchen. I'll see if I can't find you something to eat. Oh, drag that old thing anyhow. Yes. Oh, just a minute, Matt. I'll see. <laughs> now you just wait a minute. No, Matt, not you. I was talking to Lassie. She came in to pay me a visit. No. Oh. Doc Weaver doesn't answer. You want him to come over right away? All right, I'll tell him as soon as I find him. All right, all right. Everybody wants service around here, including you. <laughs> come on, Lassie. Good morning, Miss Jenny. Hi, Hi, Lassie. Got a letter for you. Air mail. Oh, thank you, Jed. Come a fur piece, too, Montana. Uh, that's from your brother, ain't it? Bert. The only family I've got. I'm glad he remembered. May I have my letter, please? Uh, sure, Jenny, sure. Bye now.
Did you find something? You want me to come with you? Hey, Gramps, I'm going with Lassie. Yeah, all right, I'll blow the horn when I'm ready. You'll be listening. I will. All right, girl, go on. Jenny! It's me, Jeff Miller. The door is open. Hi, Jenny. What do you want, Jeff Miller? Well, we were just in town, Gramps and me. We had to stop by Clay Station to get a new generator. I thought I'd just drop by and say hello. Well, at least that's more than most grown folks in this town would do. Birthday card. Is today your birthday, Jenny? Well, if it weren't for my brother, I probably wouldn't have even remembered it myself. Is there anything I can do for you? Like maybe taking over the switchboard while you go out or something? No. I've got umpteen messages to deliver. For people to all far busy to deliver them themselves. Jenny, do this. And Jenny, do that. And your grandpa's just as bad as the rest of them. Jenny, be sure to tell Alan... Oh, what's the matter? about the gate. Domino! Gramps! What's the matter, Jeff? Jenny forgot to deliver the message to Mom about Domino. She did? We gotta get back there right away. We can't. The old generator's up. The new one ain't in. Domino's probably gone by now. He might get hit by a car on the road. Yeah, I know, I know. Can't we take Charlie's car? No, he took off and Mrs. Peterson's stuck down the road someplace. What are we gonna do? Lassie, Lassie, now listen to me, girl. Go home and get Domino and put him in the corral. Put Domino in the corral. She doesn't understand. Home, girl, get Domino, Domino, and put him in the corral. <laughs> done a better job himself, nor faster either. Let's get going. But, Gramps, I've been telling you Lassie will take care of Domino. She's just a dog. Now get in there and don't give me any more back up. Hi, George. Didn't see anything in Domino when you were coming along the road, did you? Not a sign of him. How do you happen to get out? Oh, I forgot to lock the gate and I told Jenny to call Ellen, but she didn't do it. I don't know what got into Jenny today. She sent me to Mrs. Streeter to look at her little girl's measles. <laughs> That's no job for a vet. Yeah, she messed up my morning all right. That ain't all. She sent Doc Stewart way out here to look at Brockway's sick calf. Darn near bit my head off, too, when I complained. I don't know. 
Well, that'll be pushing. Me too. We gotta find Babylon. Now. Well, maybe so. We'll see. Grant, look. <laughs> Good girl, Lassie. Good girl. Easy, Diamond. No, easy. Oh, no. Oh. He's soaking wet. Yeah, run himself ragged. Unless his coat's full of birds. Must have been running all over creation. Put a blanket on Domino and walk him, then rub him down good. You can take the birds at a lassie later. Okay. Come on, Domino. Come on. Hi, Mom. Hi, Miss Miller. Hello, boy. Well, you look better in a wet hand. Oh, I am. Jenny was supposed to let me know that Mrs. Marco couldn't meet me in town. I had that whole trip for nothing because she has the shopping list. Well, Jenny messed up a lot of things today. She plum forgot to get an important message through to you before you left. Yeah, and she sent Doc Weaver out where Doc Stewart was supposed to go. And she told Doc Stewart that we had an emergency and all we had was a sick calf. That is not like her. Maybe she's getting too old for the job. You know, things like that can't happen. That isn't the reason. She's not getting old at all. Now, don't talk that way, Jeff. I guess I know how old it. Wait a minute, Dad. What is the reason, Jeff? She's not supposed to take the messages for us. She just does it because... Well, because she's a friend. It's not her fault if Domino gets out. Or if your cat gets sick, Porky, and Doc Weaver isn't in his office. And besides, today's her birthday. That's what she's so upset about. Oh, today is Jenny's birthday? That's right, today. And all she got was one measly birthday card from her brother in Montana. That's not a very nice birthday. Here we were all getting angry with her. It's just a shame. You know, I think you got a point there, son. It isn't a part of her job to be a message service. I agree with you, Jeff. We've all been taking advantage of Jenny's good nature. Where are you going? I'm going to go call everybody on our party line and tell them it's Jenny's birthday. No, Mom, you can't do that. Why not? Jenny might hear you. That'd spoil it. Oh, of course, you're right. Mm. But I do have an idea. There you are, Jeff. Give that one to last. Okay. Now, let's see. Do we have everybody? Oh, I forgot Ethel Sturdivant. I'll take her. Now, you all know where you're supposed to go. Yeah. Yeah. Now, no stopping to gossip. Jeff, you and Grant have to be back here so we can be ready at exactly 4 o'clock. Synchronize watches. All right. Jeff, yours is a minute slow. Okay. Everybody? Right here we go. Come on, Let's Evelyn. Go. Let's go. All right, Matthew, you know where you're supposed to go. Jim Teal's. Now, go on. No, Pokey. No, Poke. Now, this just in your type of work. So you stay. Okay, Jeff. I got it. It's a great idea. Hey, I caught you, Frank. Well, I'm glad you did, too, George. I wouldn't want to miss it for the world. Right. I gotta keep hustling. Right. Now, is that all right with you? Sure, fine. But get around to as many of the others as you can, Ethel. I will. I certainly will. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, Porky, come in. Okay. Well, Lassie, this note says that you're to go to Lem Boots next. Remember Lem? Well, here you are now. Go to Lem Boots. Go on, go. She's a 
jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow, which nobody can deny. Which nobody can deny. Which nobody can deny. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. Which nobody can deny. Happy birthday, Jay! <laughs> <laughs> I think you've never seen to see the expression on her face. I'm probably glad you didn't. Come on, yeah. let's hurry. Okay. Grant, you take that. Yes, yep. you take the preserve. Okay. Well, come on. Let's go. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Well, I think the people of Calverton are just about the nicest people in the whole world. Oh, my God.